How's it going guys? Chauncey here and I'm going to be reviewing the RAP 920 AR from Vuzix. It's an augmented reality head mounted display or HMD. This is a very cool display. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys like what it can do as far as hardware wise and you know some foresight on what it could be used for in the future with applications. Let's get started. The RAP 920 AR comes packaged in its own like kind of container box and uh, you can see it. it's got a lot of neat little insided or uh, sorry recessed foam so and it's also got its own little hard shell carrying case um, it comes with converters for uh, the iPhone and it's got a TC tracker so trackers got three accelerometers on it actually I'll show it to you over here uh, it's right here it's on the side of the glasses it has three accelerometers for uh, three different axes. It's got three magnetic field centers and it has three gyroscopes. And it actually has some drivers so you don't have to really worry about writing your own Kalman filters and so on and so forth. It's uh, run through what Vuzix calls their VR manager and you can access the data with DLL files. Okay when you first get uh, when you first get the RAP920 and you install all the uh, software for it you're gonna get this Max Reality software. Um, there's a Max Reality player and then they like the Max Reality, the actual plugin for 3D Studio Max. So I'll start Max Reality. And uh, it pretty much opens up a browsing window right away. Uh, there's no real GUI to the player. You, um, it just It's just the graphics engine. So you just select whatever uh, VWD file that you need and launch it. And then it actually will display a side-by-side -side image from the video camera. So like this is me looking at the camera here. And I'm filming you guys, filming for you guys. Uh, there you can see me. Okay, so when I put one of these fiducial markers down on the ground, or just like near in the field of view, you're going to see the actual augmented object tracked and hooked onto that fiducial. Just like you see on like an iPhone or a mobile application, AR, or like AR toolkit type application. This is computer vision tracking. Okay, now I'll show you guys what it looks like inside the display. If you look down in here, you can see the marker with the dragon. Let's see if I can get a little bit of anger angle. Okay, there we go. Somewhat. There's a little bit of latency there. I'm running this on a pretty powerful desktop machine too. I mean, this is a quadro card with uh, uh, 12 gigs of RAM and a quad core pros processor. Um, so a little bit of latency, and I would attribute that to the resolution of the cameras on the front of the uh, the HMD themselves. So these these two cameras on the front of here, they're actually OEM parts from uh, Minuru. Um, so this was a collaboration product between Vuzix and Minuru. Uh, the resolution of these cameras is pretty good, but you know their drivers are kind of one of a kind. There isn't a whole lot of dual webcams out there like this, so uh, maybe they could be better. Maybe they, maybe not. You know, I don't know. I'm not that much of a computer scientist that I could, could wager one or the other. So what I'm getting though is the resolution of the actual hardware itself of each one of these webcams is is just not low enough or is not high enough to really correct for a lot of this computer vision latency. I mean there's not a lot. I mean you look there, I'm moving it pretty slow, but let me move real quick. You notice that the you can probably barely see it, but the the marker is not staying right with it. And, you know, I may be going out of the field of view of the camera, but, uh, anywho, that's what it looks like. And then, of course, if you're wearing these, um, with your two eyes, you're going to see in 3D. So that's kind of a cool thing, too. The, the menu system that comes with these is, uh, actually quite extensive for a head-mounted display. It's right here. So it's just this little remote. So I would hold down menu, and then now you'll be able to see in the display an overlay over, over the video content. Um, the, the different systems. So you have like the different color changes you can make and then below that is, oops, sorry, oh it disappeared. Let me hit it again. So you have the color changes, brightness and contrast and then you have below that you have the stereo formats. You have side by side, uh, top and bottom, 2D, red and green so it'll actually change it to like like anaglyph mode for you. Um, I don't know why you'd really want to do that. Or maybe it's reverse. I actually haven't read up much on the manual on why it has those other stereo formats. So, anyway, the Vuzix Wrap 920AR. 
Very good system for augmented reality, especially if you're wanting stereoscopic situations. It's very good if you're going to use this with kids. Um, I'm studying to become a Disney Imagineer, and that's one of the main reasons why I have this, is so that I can practice different new application ideas that I have. Um, almost anybody I show this to that's under the age of 20, they all is just, they love it. They light up. They're like, oh man, I wish I could play, you know, XYZ, Call of Duty, or Modern Warfare, or, you know, The Sims on this kind of a system. And that's really cool to think about. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, the adjustment for focus is very good. It's right on the top here, and it's just a little tiny Phillips screw, screwdriver that is actually supplied, and it's underneath the, the um, uh, remote. Anyway, uh, I would recommend this system for anyone who wants to do video through augmented reality. There are see-through augmented reality systems out there, and Vuzix actually has one called the Star 1200, and I'll be reviewing that in another video. The other uh, thing that's important to notice is that this system relies heavily on computer vision tracking. Um, you could use the 6TC tracker that comes with it by itself or with the, uh, the markers that come with it. I personally don't like marker tracking. I'm, I'm trying with my application designs and creation to get away from using these visual markers. I, I will admit they are cheap to use and they're easy to use and there's a lot of different frameworks out there that support these. But it's just nice to know that there is a possibility in the future with uh, more de research and development um, with iner inertial, sh inertial sensor tracking or different forms of tracking that can lead to uh, markerless augmented reality and uh, we're seeing that in a lot of different videos on YouTube and I'm really excited about the community if you're part of the augmented reality community please subscribe I think you'll enjoy some of the videos I'll be posting <coughs> excuse me I'll be working on a, uh, a variety of different little examples and I'll be posting those so I'm not gonna give the the Vuzix RAP 920 AR uh, like a you know, whatever out of 10. I'm just going to say yes, they're very good for what what I need them for. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Like for indoor and outdoor use, I probably have some more things I can talk about for that. I'm actually using most of my applications for outdoors. So there's something to think about. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please uh, please subscribe if you can. If you, uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button at the bottom. Thank you. Bye-bye.